Right. Hey guys, today I thought I would do something different and show you guys, like show me doing some of my chores like laundry. I have to do this once a week. Otherwise, I pretty much get stuck with um, not having things to wear for the week. So I just thought I'd show you. Honestly here, I do not separate any of my clothes um, into colors because they invented these great things called colored catchers um color catchers i just throw one in and i've never had any problems with other stuff um my laundry detergent it's a little more challenging when it is full not so much these days but before it was more challenging when it was full because it would be so heavy especially if i got one of those big like tide things that's one of the reasons. This is tied too, but I always buy the, the smaller sizes because they're easier to maneuver. Just turn it on. Turn the washer on with the proper settings. And I am ready to go until dryer time. All right, with vacuuming, it's another chore. Of course, for someone with SMA, it's going to be, depending on their type, um, really challenging for me as a type 3. I had the hardest time vacuuming until I found this nice shark vacuum, which is nice and lightweight. So if you find a lightweight vacuum, it is possible. Um, of course, there's always, you could always, as a parent or whatever, you could always hold, help, like, hold, have the kids help you hold it as you're vacuuming. Um, let me just find the plug here. I'll show you for all you want to step on it. Push it back. I know you can't see all of this. I have an awkward angle. Um, there's a button on top that you just press back and turn on. The vacuum's on. It's just this pull to move back and forth. So just coming back. Push it up. Turn the button on the top off. And you're done other than coiling up the cord, which I'm just a dad and do. Even if um, like your child with SMA can't vacuum, which is very reasonable because vacuums are so heavy sometimes. And even just doing that, it tired me out a little bit. Like I could use a rest. Um, that is um, completely reasonable, like I was saying. But even just like helping, um, if they can help you with the cord, if they can help you hold it, um, here I'm definitely talking more about type 3 than type 1 or 2, because I don't know if a type 2 would be able to help with vacuuming, maybe, but I don't know, I'd have to ask someone with type 2. But anyway, little thing that you can do you, uh, to help like normalize their childhood or their life to help with chores you know they feel like they're participating they feel like they're helping it'll make your kids feel great um and it's an important part too of learning responsibility so that's why i was wanted to show you this today to show you that yes i still do chores um probably not as often as i should these days but i do still do them Oh, and then as far as, if anyone wanted to know, as far as this vacuum goes, with taking it in, there's a button that you press. It's a little difficult, but you can do it to get this off. And then you just, there's a button on the front, on the top, and on the bottom of the thing that you just press, and it opens. It's really simple. I'm not going to do that in here because I'll be sneezing, and that would kind of be, I would kind of lose the point of what I just vacuumed up. Um... And then you just put it back on. So I know you can't see all of that, but for you other type of threes like me that need a lightweight, easy to use vacuum, it's perfect. It is a Sharp Navigator DLX. Final stretch of today. Guess what I finally got? Guess what? A timer. All right, let's turn it on. Here we go. Maybe. Okay, because you guys have stretches I do. 
Awesome. So just kidding, this is actually going to be a long video, longer than I planned, sorry it's not short and sweet. Okay, let's see, I'm going to stretch this out really tall. Oh, of course I didn't bring a small can of bear in it, wait a minute, do I? Wait a minute, I have the belt on. Excuse me while this video becomes more awkward now. But see, this is what I do. Like I'll show you more. Loop around. And pull. Oh, that, see, I definitely feel how tight it is. Because it just feels so amazing. Okay, it's so amazing right now. Oh. Mm -hmm. Tightness like right in there. Okay, now try the other side. Not quite as tight, but still very tight. Ten seconds until you guys stretch. I meant to be practicing it every day, but that's been crazy. Um. Okay. Third time's a charm, right? Ooh, I feel like I'm trying to hide from back in the ankle. Maybe if I just get rid of the timer altogether for a minute. Stretch out. Okay, ready? Here we go. your career well I don't know if I told you guys I work with kids now and yeah I just thought that is important to show you guys this because a lot of people think that when there's um like something different about you if um like especially with especially with a muscle disease that oh you can't do chores but that's not true lots of chores <laughs> to get done all the time and I know that I'm like pretty strong so I'm able to do most things anyway um my parents always grew um like had me grow up actually 
doing my own stuff. So, um, no, like, special treatment or anything, and that's really, that's how it should be for any kid.